I'm going to demonstrate one of my favorite tools called Prezi. Prezi is actually something we call Web 2.0, which is available basically online for free and allows people to collaborate with others all over the world. And uh, Prezi is a software just like a presentation software, just like PowerPoint, except that it's not like PowerPoint at all. It's a zooming software, and so you can set it up, put your data in, and place it anywhere. So I'm just going to show you a presentation that I made, for example. This is a presentation I made about something I call the cycle of technology integration which is basically the way I think the process of um, integrating technology into the classroom goes or could go for example so when I press play here you'll see that it goes into the next um, sort of like a slide but it's not a slide you'll see at the end um, so sometimes um, teachers are just given software or you arrive at a school and it has a set of software and you want to make the best of it and this is an example of a piece of software at a school that I'm working at that kind of just showed up on my computer and I wanted to make sure that I could make best use of it. The software is called Crazy Talk and it's actually a facial animation software and what it does is um, you can put in any picture you want or use a set um, pictures that they provide and you can animate the face based on audio that you record. So you record a set of audio and the software makes the face move to make it look like that face is talking. And this is an example of a little frog that I made. If I press play on him, So you can see that what I did was have a child record that voice and then the face is talking as if it's his voice. And if I move on in the Prezi, there's another character and so that was the tree frog and this is a farmer talking about how he needs to cut down the forest. And um, so what I did with this project is decide what's the essential understanding I want to use this technology for. And in this case, it was to gain perspective, um, collaboration, empathy, and understanding. And so the students would work together to create this, um, to develop a sense of empathy for an animal in a forest, for example, and a forester who needs to survive off the land. And these are just some ideas of other places where I could interject this software. Um, so in perspective, in science, student could create an expert opinion video based on some research they may have done. And so it's important to provide meaningful experiences within a subject context, and I use technology to do that. And these are some ways um, that we can do that. So it's leadership in a school to make sure that teachers have the tools and the professional development they need to get the outcomes they desire. And then we use subject integration everywhere. So it's not bound just to core subjects or just the computer room anymore. And these are just some examples um, in language arts, how we can use technology and specifically crazy talk because that's what this presentation was about. Um, some social studies examples, math. And even in the guidance office where we don't often think but that we could um, provide students with a voice and not necessarily have it tied to their face, which is pretty powerful from some students. And then, of course, I have my ICT outcomes, which are specific to the province I live in, but um, ever so important to make sure that we're meeting our provincial curriculum guidelines when we're using technology integration. And then this is just a tool that I help justify um, why use technology. Um, in some instances, people like to say, well, I could do that with pencil and paper. And it's always nice to provide reasons why technology may or may not be better um, in any instance. And so we're back at the middle, and if I zoom out, you can see the whole cycle, and that's what it looks like. And so basically, you see the whole cycle of technology integration. And so that's my presentation, and I'm glad you stayed tuned to listen.